My name is Richard Tamayo. I haven't spoken in a long time, but we're in April of 2021, and the Holy Spirit has been teaching me God's Word, and I am going to teach it to you. So give the Holy Spirit the glory if this Word blesses you. Amen? So, 2021, God is speaking to me like He's never spoken to me, and He hasn't spoken to me in a very powerful way in a while. He gave me a break for three years, but here we go. We're going to talk about standing before God in the inner court. When you stand before the king, like Esther stood before the king, Joseph stood before the king, Herodias' daughter stood before Herod, Daniel stood before the king, and they all received favor. So I'm going to link and show you how God's inner court was in the Jordan River, a place where he anointed his prophets. And Jesus, when he entered and baptized in the Jordan, was in God's inner court, and God blessed him and anointed him with the glory of the Holy Spirit entering into him in glory, I mean the Holy Spirit and fire. And God said, my son in who I am well pleased, favor. The Jordan River is God's inner court here on earth. And God has shown me so much. I'm going to show you through Elijah, through Jesus, through Elijah and John the Baptist, through scriptures that I'll be posting on the screen so you can read them and understand that God's favor, we as Christians need to seek to be in his inner court. It's not just about praying to him and being in the inner court or feeling to be in the court. We have to enter in there. The same way they took Esther and they prepared her for three years. The same way they took Daniel and prepared them for three years before they can enter into the inner court. We are preparing ourselves as Christians by getting in the word of God and watering the spirit that he blessed us when we got baptized in water. Watering it with the living waters, God's word to cause the Spirit of God in us to grow so that we can produce spiritual fruit and be a strong tree with leaves and fruit that has been, the roots have grown and are rooted into God's Word. And we need to accept that we have to make changes and prune and produce so that we can receive the Holy Spirit and the fire which is a different level of the Holy Spirit. It is the second glory, which I'll speak about in God's glory in another video. Please, Christians, we have all slumbered and slept like the ten virgins. They all slumbered and slept. But we got to be wise like the five that got up and started placing the oil in the lamp. Take God's word, the anointed word of God, and light the lamp that is in you. We are in the times. God has shown me that he is opening heaven. We're in April 2021. He has shown me that the heavens have opened. That means the angels are ascending and descending upon Jesus, upon his anointed. That means the dream that Joseph, I mean, Joseph had, I mean, uh, Israel, Jacob had on the mountain, when he saw the ladder of angels entering and exiting and going up and down into heaven is because when that heaven opens, God's angels are commissioned and then things are taking place here on earth. We are at the time, guys, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Please, 